Hi team, today we're going to get your Epson Intelligent Printer set up. First thing that we need to do is prep your hardware. So basically, what you're going to need to do is pop the paper into the printer, make sure that it goes under the roll like this, turn your printer over and plug in first the power, then your network cable which will go to your router, and finally the plug for your cash drawer if you plan to use one. Now flip your printer over and turn it on. Your printer is now going to find an IP address which is a set of four one to three digit numbers which is like the address on the network for your printer. Sort of like a street address. Now head to your favorite web browser and type the IP address into the web browser followed by printer capital P configuration capital C page capital P. This will take you to the printer setup page Head to the bottom left hand corner of this setup page, tap on system settings, then go up a little bit and under network tap on TCP slash IP. Now in this section we want to select get IP address to manual. This is so the printer gets the same IP address every time it turns on. And then you want to change the last three digits of this printer to something like 201. If another device already has 201, you can change it to anything in the 200s range. Now head down to the bottom of this window and press apply. Make sure you remember this IP address because you're going to need it in this next step, which is adding a printer to one of your sites within Counter. First thing you need to do is log in to Counter. So head to Safari or Chrome and log on in. And then we need to go into Menu in the top left hand corner down to Sites, into the site that you want to use this printer in, and then into Printers in that top bar. You're going to want to change your printer settings, the printer server type to Epson TM Intelligent Printer. The cloud printer URL is going to be the IP address that we just assigned to that printer, in this case 201. Printer config level, at this stage, you want to leave to all items to all printers, and then add printer. Now this is very important. The printer name has to be local underscore printer, all one word, and all lowercase. And then add printer. And then the save button down the bottom of the window. The next step is assigning this printer to a certain register in your site. To do this, head to registers in that top bar, choose the register you'd like to assign this printer to for things like receipts, head down to the bottom of that register and change receipt printer to local printer and cash drawer to local printer, then hit save. It's now time to test counter. To do this, what we need to do is head to POS in the top right hand corner, all of your products and your information will load. Tap on a couple of products. In this case, I've chosen a couple from my coffee menu. Then click on subtotal. If everything is correct, your printer should now print a subtotal for this customer. Next, hold the order, type in a description, in this case for Dan, and tap hold. Your printer should now print a production receipt for the creation of those products. The final thing to test is that the cash drawer is kicking correctly. Head to the menu button again, tap cash drawer, and your cash drawer should spring open. If all of this is happening, your printer is now set up and ready to rock with counter.